Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Um, today we're going to do a, a look at the state of my hands. I opened a tub of mica and it exploded everywhere uh, and it stained my hands, I can't get it off. Uh, so yeah, apologies about my hands. Uh, yeah, today we're going to do a bit of a twist on a technique I've tried over the past couple of days by um, a lovely clay friend called Deborah. She has her own channel, I'll leave a link. Uh, and she did a mother of pearl, um, which I'll show you now. It's really hard for you to see the depth. Um, I did take some really nice pictures and I put them in the group. But I tried Deborah's technique for Mother of Pearl, work to treat. Fabulous. But I had an idea of doing it um, with just one colour. So I've dug out quite a few mica powders. Uh, we're going to need, so what you're going to need is some mica powders. Now I've got some got different gold mica powders and I'm going to actually do a green one at the same time just because I want to try it so I've got some green mica powders and I am actually going to put a touch of pale gold in with the greens so you're going to need some mica powders uh, I'm going to use some of this um, mother of pearl more. Uh, you could use um, just white I suppose uh, if you haven't got any pearl colours. Um, it just adds a little bit of something if you do have a pearl colour uh, but I don't think it's essential for what we're doing. And some translucent. I'll just show you the cord then everybody knows which one it is. Uh, and that's basically it. A couple of cutters um, you know for what shapes you're using I'm going to do a square and I'm going to do a circle so um, so you just need a couple of cutters some mica powders colors of your choice say I'm quite a fan of green and I thought I'd do a gold just because I thought it would work nice uh, some you could just use all translucent or um, try some of this female effect pearl and you could use it to do this in different colours so if you decided to do pinks you could maybe get the pink quartz one um, you know it's up to you what I did and I suggest you do as well is I, these are all the green mica powders that I have and these are all the gold mica powders that I have and I just swatched them uh, onto some paper just so I could see how they worked because some are a bit interference -y and stuff I didn't like this one so I'm just using these three and I weren't keen on that one or that one so I'm just using those four but it's a good idea to do that before you start then you can just see what the colours look like before you put them on your clay and you're going to need something to push into the clay it's a bit like a makumigane technique um, where you layer push something in um, I'm going to use the edge of my pliers to push into the clay just because it, it's a nice curve uh, but you know you could use anything a pencil or put whatever pattern you want in really guys totally up to you um, you may have noticed some of you that I've put um, some subtitles on for French German Spanish and Russian uh, I've only done those four for now because going off me analyticals they're the you know bar English speakers they're the more common people that watch my videos um, I know they might not be perfect because um, it's just the um, 
auto-generated subtitles in English that I then download and translate um, through a website. So some words might be a little bit off every now and again. There isn't much I can do about that guys. I really do not um, have the time to type out in multiple languages and this was the easiest way I could find of doing it. So I hope it's helpful to some of you. Um, and the other thing while I'm on is I always put in the description video like so where the title of the video is there's a little down button and if you press that it opens up and in there there'll be the clay we've used the products I've used links to some of the tools and things that I use links to some of my favorite shops in Europe and Amazon and you know everything um, so try and make use of that guys because I am getting a lot of questions um, about stuff I've used in the video um, and it's all actually all there for you the, you know the, the clays the mica powders and things like that so um, if you could just check there first before you ask your question um, I'd be really appreciative because the more people that are watching the more questions I'm getting and um, there's going to become a point where I'm physically not going to be able to answer them all and I'm doing my best I do this just for fun um, so if you could do that for me guys I'd be really appreciative right I'll shut up now and we'll go and get some uh, claying done I'll go and um, get these t bits together I'll see you in a minute okay guys I've got some clay together <clears throat> Um, this is the pearl this is translucent we need some translucent um, on a 4 or 5 on your pasta machine um, to um, layer in between uh, as part of our makumigani style and then I've got about the same amount of pearl and translucent and all I'm going to do is just split this because I'm going to make two lots so um, I'm going to put half translucent half pearl again half translucent half pearl and we need to get these conditioned and I will condition this I'm going to run these through on a two and I'm going to run this through on a four or a five uh, as thin as you can get it guys um, just because we're just going to use it to layer as well so I'll go and get these conditioned I'll be back in a sec hi guys right I've got my um, pearl and translucent uh, two separate lots so I'm just gonna put one to one side for the green I'm gonna do the gold first so we've got the pearl and translucent mixed and some translucent um, and what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to cut um, some squares out I'm just doing it this way guys because it's easier for me uh, my hands have been a bit iffy the past couple of days so uh, I'm sticking to the tools Uh, I could do with six really so I'll just do this and uh, pinch a bit off that one for this end you could do more than six guys it's just I found uh, when I was doing the other one that six was plenty uh, because we're gonna um, thin it out a little bit as well just get these scraps up I'll probably use the scraps as a, a bit of a backing for them so let's get these bits off I've got six squares ready for layering and I'll just cut um, some translucent to go in between that Uh, five will probably be enough but we'll see 
right so I'll just use this one on the bottom what I'm going to do is get in my gold mic pad I'm using the gold ones guys uh, I just tap them because I've already had one explosion today um, I'll just take the lids off and put them to one side oh there we go make sure they're all in shot move this up a bit right I'm just going to use my little finger dauber because I really want to um, press this into the clay so just getting a bit on my dauber I'm just going to do a little stripe of each colour maybe not each colour on each one and again entirely up to you and I haven't tested this guy so I don't know if it's going to work <laughs> as usual I'm uh, winging it I'll just put a bit more of the uh, pale one down here so I've got some oh and I'll just put a bit of translucent over the top and you know the score with Makumagani guys we're just doing layers now of course it doesn't really want to stick because of the um, mica but it will eventually once we start putting things together uh, I'm just going to get a bit of tissue to oh just to keep clean all oh, this will be everywhere Right, and then the same again, guys. Just um, going to put a, uh, a piece of this down In fact, where's my roller? There it is. Just going to squish this a bit to see if I can get it to stick because it is sliding around everywhere. Nope doesn't want to stick it will come together guys because I did it with the uh, mother of pearl one right let's just keep going so yeah you might find it a bit fiddly but don't worry it all comes good I like using these daubers because it uh, it's just because I'm such a messy person I just find it easier using the dauber so a layer of translucent then a layer of pearl and I might mix it up on this one and go darker to lighter so you don't have to do it in any well I'm saying you don't uh, you know you don't have to do it in any specific order just get the clay down and get the colour down right a layer of translucent and a layer of oh pearl sit translucent and a layer of pearl oh it's sliding sit
and then we'll fi finish with a translucent and a pearl. Right, I'll just pop these lids back on and I don't get it everywhere. out the way and mop up these spills there right we've got our block I'm just gonna press it with my fingers to get it to stick a bit clean underneath it. Right, where's my roller gone again? I keep losing things today. Oh, I'm just going to flip it over guys and then I can just give it a squish and try and get everything to stick it does come together eventually um, it's just a I, found, I struggled with this bit in the last one I think maybe I put too much mica around don't I but <clears throat> come on stick right we seem to be sticking now there we go. So I'm just going to roll, roll it out a bit, and I will flip it and roll the other end. Let me move that bit of tissue. Oh. <laughs> It's a little tricky thing this isn't it today. The clay's quite cold because I've got the window open. So there that's stuck now. I'll just flip it one more time and give it a roll. And then I'm just going to cut it in half and turn the stack over. And give this a bit of a roll. I didn't get that edge very well, did I? Let's just straighten it up a bit. going to do it one more time there we go right guys I'll just get it into some semblance of order then I'm just gonna have a quick white round and get some rid of some of this spilled mica get it off my hands there it's better 
right now you can use whatever you want for this guys the end of a pencil the end of a tool um, I'm just going to use the end of my pliers because I like that curved the other day I used the side of a jar um, but it's entirely up to you but just give it a really good firm push in here as well and you could poke holes in it you could do what you want really um i just liked that if you can make it out how i've got that lovely curved banding just i like how it looked and then of course we've got to squish it back together where's my key squares I have all these tools and I forget all about them, don't I? One more roll should do it. Just want to make sure that those edge ones are really pushed together. go one nice block these out the way there we go right so I'm just going to make one out of each colour guys um, and I'll put some extra pictures in and stuff if I make something from the other one uh, but I'm literally just going to cut this block in half um, and use the whole piece um, so I'll just slice this And I'll put this piece to one side to do a different pendant. Um, right, lolly sticks. I think I'll do this about three thick. Three lolly sticks. Save me putting a backing on. Get my roller. I'm just going to do it that way and then I'll turn it just so I know it's not over stretching in certain areas there we go and I don't think it needs burnishing because of the roller but 
I will give it a little burnish just so that I know that the surface is um, nice and smooth and I really I really like this bit here so I'm going to bring the cutter down to here let's give it a wiggle and I know my cutter won't get stuck bits to one side can maybe make a pair of earrings from them later didn't go through that very well did I I'll just use my blade to tidy this edge up guys I didn't put enough pressure on I don't think I can't see the back but I'll give it a cut There we go. Right, I'm going to dorm this um, on uh, one of my egg porches. Let's get them bits out of the way. Oh, my desk is moving again. Don't know what I've done. I'm wondering if one of my rubber feet is loose on my mat. I just check these edges for crumbs. I know I can clean them up later, but right, and I'm just gonna pop this onto my egg porcher and just with the palm of my hand press it down a little bit. just so that it forms a nice um, a nice shape I've got a bit of cat fluff right I'll pop this to one side guys and I'll just have a little clean up and then I'll come back and do the green see you in a min okay guys same as before I've got six squares of the pearl five squares of translucent I've just taken my lid off my greens and blues uh, well it's like a bluey green I'm using uh, this is the palest gold colour I've just put a bit in the cap in case I cross contaminate it with the green and we're just going to do uh, exactly what we did before uh, just going to rub some of these colours in in fact I might not even use the cream one I think these three together will look perfectly fine I was worried they might be a bit strong um, but with the pearl itself they should be fine translucent trying not to put as much on as I did by rubbing it in rather than pouncing it on just to see if that helps with the um, it coming together a bit translucent oh then pearl
lovely these colours. I've gone a bit quiet, haven't I? <laughs> it's because I'm concentrating. Translucent. Oh, get off. Then pearl. I'm stretching it a bit, guys, in the hopes it kind of warms it up a bit. Translucent. Oh, get off. And pearl. Go. Then just top it with translucent and pearl. And I'll just get these caps back on before I knock something over. a wipe and I'll just pick this up and just give me top a wipe to get rid of any rogue mica and I'm just going to give this a, a bit of a press to make sure those layers are blending And then we'll just give it a roll like last time. I think with this one I'll just do it um just do one cut and see see the difference don't think it'll make a massive difference to be honest but you never know do you you never know just get those ends something like Give it a nice squish together. And also I think this time I might just do it with this tool instead. In fact I'll just roll it a little bit thinner. Yeah, so with this one, I think I'll just poke a couple of holes in and then I'll do this just to mix it up a bit, see what happens. Oh, 
clay sticking to my tool. Let's just pick it up and yeah, that'll do. And then we just have to get this back together. Where's my blocks? I'll just do it a bit by hand first. Oh, it's going to bunch up on me. I want to make sure that those joints have properly come back together. Which is the hardest bit for me. There we go just reduce this a little bit just to get my block a bit higher for cutting in half there we go right let's cut this one in half I think this one's going to look quite jazzy. Just can see a couple of bubbles. Let's give it a roll out. lolly stick now I think with this one I might actually pass it through my pasta machine and back it on um, some scraps yeah I will I'll go and pass this through on a number two and put some scraps through on a number two and I will back this one I think just to um, make it go a bit further I'll be back in a sec guys Okay, I've done this on a two and it's really smooched out the pattern. It looks kind of cool. And this is on number two. I'm just going to give this a burnish. Um, I can see a couple of bubbles. And I just want to make sure that the back's in really good condition. the other side okay. 
oh now I've got cat fluff on it just cut that down a bit guys and it's easier to handle for me and make sure that that spot is nice and clean to put my back down oh now I'm knocking things over there I'm going to do a circle one with this one guys and I really like this spot here so um, I'll just put this piece to one side oh I'm not sure if that's got any bits on just want to keep my back as nice as possible Let's pop that down and give it a burnish. And let's cut this out. I'll just give it a little twist to try and get rid of that dimple on that side. And again, I'm going to dorm this one, guys. Just make sure there's no crumbs. there we go I shall pop that with the other one ready for baking is that central yeah pop that with the other one ready for baking and I'm just gonna make um, a couple of little tubes um, to put on the backs um, like this make sure that piece is nice and I've put my little rod my little mini rod I'm just going to roll this over And I'll put part bake this. Oh, I've got a bit of muck on it. I park bake this. And I just make that where the seam is a bit flat, if you can see. And then I can just roughly sand it and stick it down and finish baking. Um, and this will be um, what will hold our. Um, stringy materials on um, when it comes out of the oven it's quite soft um, so I can cut it in half and we can just have a smart two pieces of this to um, make our bale with just got to get this off there now there we go Come on, just give it a little. Right guys, I'll go and pop everything in the oven um, and then we'll come back and stick the bale on and then we'll finish baking. So I'll see you when I'm in. Hi guys, right these are part baked now. I'm just gonna put a bale on. Um, so I've made an extra one that will match the gold um, and I'm just going to pop this on the back um, 
I think I'll have this one. Oh, I'm just going to put a little bit of um, clear liquid to clay and just pop this bale on. Make sure it's nice and straight. I'll just let that sit a second while I do this one. Uh, let's have a look. Kind of like it that way. So, again, I'll just put a spot of. Oh, I can't find my seam. There it is. Just a little spot of liquid clay to help it bond. I'm going to put just a teensy bit more on this one. Just let it run into that gap. Because it's quite, it's quite big, this bale. I wanted to make sure I could get a decent cord through it. Just let that sit a minute. In fact, where's my porky? I have a porky tool, I'll just help that to run around the joint. There we go. And you won't see this once it's baked, it just blends in with it being clear. Uh, you know, you can always put your own, depends what sort of bales you like I suppose. I quite like doing these and I think that one will be fine. Right, I'll pop these back in the oven guys. Uh, I'll probably do a good half hour because they're reasonably thick um, so they'll have had 45 minutes or so uh, and I'll see you when they're done. Hi guys, we're out of the oven. Uh, they look pretty cool but obviously they need a sand and a buff. Um, I shall go and do that uh, and I'll be back. Hi guys, all polished. I'll just lift them up one at once. It is so hard to show you the depth that there is now they've been polished. Oh, we've got a Doris. Talking. Um, so yeah, there's the gold one, and here's the green one. Like I say, it's really hard to explain the depth to you. I think I much prefer using this sort of curve through it, but this still looks. This looks more like traditional. Makuma garnet. Uh, miss, no, you need to get down. Come on, down. Oh. Sorry, guys, she must want something. Yeah, uh, this is kind of a more traditional look, isn't it, for Makuma garnet? Uh, what I might do with this one is do some thin slithers and back it onto some translucent and see what happens um, but I love this look it's like you feel like there's waves in the pendant I really don't know if you can make out the depth I'll try and catch it more in the photographs but yeah there we go guys just a, a little bit of uh, something different you can do pretty simple really you don't need a lot as long as you've got some mica powders and just some translucent clay you'd be fine uh, the pearl adds obviously but you know you don't have to have the pearl in there uh, right I'll leave you to it guys I'm not going to string them up um, but I will for the photographs see you later bye